Okay, fans have been following Kelly Clarkson's career for 20 years, starting when she won American Idol all the way up through the third season of her talk show. And our girl Sheila Wako caught up with Kelly about taking over the prime afternoon time slot, why she loves highlighting travel, and her brand new EP of cover songs. The Emmy award-winning Kelly Clarkson show just took over the 3 p.m. time slot right here on NBC10. I mean, it's a big moment for our whole team because we've been working really hard and um, and it's a really great time slot for us to reach even more people and, and connect with more people. So we're all pretty stoked. I know we need the news and I know we need to know what's happening and I know we need to progress the setting that you need to know like bad things happening, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. And so I think it's just good to like present some kind of escapism, whether, whether we're covering a song that they might have like roller skated to in junior high or like or they you know they I love that I've just brought up a roller skate rink I'm <laughs> aging myself um but it's a good time um but um or you know it's interviewing someone that they love like in a show or it's meeting these incredibly rad humans that are doing really amazing things in life and you might not know about it and it makes you feel good um to be a part of that to watch that I had so much fun earlier this month showing off Philadelphia on Kelly's show as part of her segment Spring Forward USA. What's up, ladies? So where in Philly are you? I think it's really important for people to travel outside your bubble. It introduces you to different cultures. It introduces you to different ideas. Um, and it just, I think meeting the more people you meet, the more you not only discover about others, but you discover about yourself. I love that we get to showcase these cities. And honestly, I've been inspired by a couple of them. I've ended up taking trips because I'm like, wait, that's really cool. I've never done that there. You just released Kelly Oki EP. You've covered literally hundreds of songs at this point. How the heck did you pick just these few to narrow down? By the way, the Billie Eilish one has been one of my favorites you've done, so I'm really excited about that one. Thank you. Killed it. Um, it's so funny because I'm 40 years old, but I still am like, oh man, my mom's going to hear this. Like, <laughs> she's very Southern and very religious. So. I love all the songs on the EP. It was really hard to limit it down. Um, we definitely chose ones that went viral that people love. People love the Billie Eilish one I did on the show, so that was kind of a no-brainer. But it's one of those things that I love about music. You don't even need to know a person, but they write something and it resonates so true within your body and, and your veins, and you're like, has she been watching me? Like, it's, and then Queen of the Night was cool to do. Even before Idol, like my first demo, literally Queen of the Night was like one of the first songs I ever sang in a studio. The band and I, we, we chose that one. It was kind of a nice thing to like release because I know people are wanting new music, like fans are like, drop an album. <laughs> And I'm like, I need a little bit of a life for a minute and to figure my life out. So it was a nice thing to kind of give give them, um, you know, just as a bridge project. It was an honor to talk to you. I've been a fan since Idol, so. Oh my God, us. thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for being on the show. Oh, and you can watch the Kelly Clarkson show every weekday afternoon at three, right here on NBC 10.